Hello everyone, this is part 9 of my Byzantium Civilization 5 game. Uh, refer back to part 1 for the list of mods that I'm actually using here. Um, right, uh, so this is turn 871. I don't remember what I was doing before the end of the previous part. Uh, it's been something like a week since I uh, filmed that, or recorded that film, really. Um, so I'm going to have to trust my trusty algorithm for playing to uh, get me back on track. So, off we go. What was I doing over here? Well, clearly, a farm is the thing to build there. Um, right, sneak attacks, fun. Where was this? Oh, might want to deal with that. Oh well. On we go. As usual, I'm not uh, joining other people's wars. Um, there really isn't any percentage in doing that if you're uh, well defended and nobody's attacking you. Um, right. Ooh, a great scientist. Well see what's doing here um, well about the best thing I've found to do with great scientists is just to uh, what's called bulb them so I'll do that and research a technology um, right uh, so that gets me headed toward archaeology which will be good for uh, generating tourism assuming I have a decent number of ancient uh, uh, you know, historical sites. Whether I do is uh, debatable. Uh, I've had some games where there's dozens of them in my borders and other games where there's two. Uh, so it's not clear whether it'll be useful or not. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so that's the last one over there. over here too right what am I going to I don't normally build lumber mills I've done a couple here um, that's because I've got grassland and desert here Uh, 
I'll farm that one. Now, obviously, I could spend a little bit more time micromanaging my strategy here, uh, but that's clearly not going to be necessary in this game. Uh, I've got decent production going on and all of that, so it's not really going to be much of a handicap if uh, I don't do that uh, massive micromanagement. On the other hand, if I was playing a game at deity level, then I would likely have to be doing that, and I probably wouldn't have a dozen cities, however many this is. Okay. That's a plane, so farming that'll be quite effective. Oh, right, caravans. On this one, I'm sending production back to the capital. Stoneworks. Okay, that gets production up there. Now what? Uh, I think a lighthouse. Is these uh, water tiles will be much more useful than the snow tiles. Okay, that's a workshop there. Uh, growth or science or the hmm. I'll go for the granary first. Now I haven't done any particular exploring here, so um, I really don't know what's out there on most of the map. Uh, that could be a handicap later. Uh, but uh, I don't think it'll be a significant one. Okay, I've got seaports now, so that can uh, uh, boost my, uh, my production here from the water tiles. Uh, and so uh, that's one of the things I've got, uh, one of the mods I'm using uh, actually makes water tiles useful. So like in the stock game, uh, land tiles are quite useful because you usually, by the mid to uh, late game, you've got four or five uh, uh, you know, total production on the land tiles, uh, whether it's food or production or gold or something. Uh, whereas water tiles that have no resources are basically useless in uh, the stock game. So coastal cities are drastically handicapped. And I do mean drastically compared to inland cities. So in the stock game, your strategy for settling cities is to minimize your coastal exposure. Now that might be good from a strategic standpoint if you're trying to guard against sea attacks. But it's certainly not helpful if you're, say, Polynesia and you're on a tiny island. So what I'm doing here is I'm maximizing my uh, uh, 
um, development on uh, good tiles and then I'm going on to the less good ones. Okay, so I built a camp there. That's a hill. So I'll probably, I'll, I should be able to mine the hills there. Ah, right, what have I got here? Yeah, university would be good. So I've got some factories that should be coming online soon. Yeah. Come to think of it, the uh no, the lumber mill's only plus one. Okay. Okay. Well, I definitely want to improve that one. Wait, this is a new? Uh, so... Well, in that case... Right. Um, well, there's not much for building here. So I think I'll end up uh, building some military units here, but first I'll build the arsenal. Uh, right. Now, I definitely need to get the uh, C tiles producing better there, so I'll do that. As, uh, these tiles here are not going to be helpful for, say, uh, production or anything. Although it's nice to have these plains tiles here. Okay, and the uh, sheep there. Oh, looky, it's a golden age. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to build the armory, too. Okay, that's a factory there. So I'll build... Uh, building my uh, defensive buildings and so on. I've got plenty of gold so I can handle the maintenance cost of the offensive buildings, like barracks. Uh, so I've managed to become influential with one out of nine uh, opponents here. 
Oh. Right. They want to embargo me. Um, right. Well, I'll vote for that one. See if every see if people gang up on me. I'm not trading with uh, other civilizations substantially here anyway, so... Well, we'll see shortly. Okay, let's see. Well, there was three that didn't want to embargo me. <laughs> Four wanted to keep the embargo on uh, furs. Okay. Now, what to propose? Well, I'm still going to try and remove that embargo. So somebody liked that idea. Arabia lost their capital. To whom? The Huns. Huh. Right. I may actually have to go to war with the Huns. Oh, I should plan to spy somewhere. Uh, right. I'll improve the decent land first. Now, production here. Uh, what do I want for an invasion type force? Well, I think I want a bunch of musket men. Uh, right, that was a granary, now a library. So if I'm going to share a massive border with Attila, I'm going to definitely need to have a substantial military force because the bugger is going to invade at some point. And as I believe I mentioned in the previous part, to attack, say, this city, I'll have to come in from this direction, otherwise I'll get slaughtered by these.
So I'll have to come in here with some uh, infantry type units and some ranged units. It'd be ideal if I could come in with some rocket artillery, but I'm not going to be anywhere close to that. And that is the most vulnerable of the Hun cities that are nearby. I could uh, go after Mecca and return it to the Arabs. Anyway. Okay. Re redo the cargo ship. Um, okay. So that's a musket man. Send over there. I'm going to build a bunch of them. They're actually fairly effective uh, for uh, attacking cities. Uh, and I'll... I'll uh, I'll make a few trebuchets as well. If you come in with enough ranged units, then uh, you can potentially do enough damage in one turn that uh, you can actually take the city pretty quickly. Uh, that was a lighthouse. Um, a harbor, next. But yeah, definitely, if I'm going to come in and uh, take and go after any city, it's going to have to be this one, I think. But I'm also going to have to defend the rest of my border when I do that. So I should probably do a multi-pronged attack and come in at Mecca at the same time. Okay, Damascus is uh, the uh, new capital. Uh, right. Move. I think... I think Poland did it it'd actually be a good one. Ah. Okay, we'll see what's going on here. I suspect Damascus is going to get taken next. Oh wait, there's a uh, or Medina. Well, that's archaeology. Now what to uh, research. Chemistry gets me cannons. That's worth it. So I'll, I'll do that, especially if I'm contemplating an invasion. Uh, there's an antiquity site. There's one, there's one, and there's one. So I have four of them. That's good for eight tourism. Ooh, I kept my expansion promise. That means I can go and settle beside the Huns. Actually, if I want to expand in that direction, I think a war is the way to do it now. Um, right. That's good. That's out of range. Okay. That, is, however, is in range. Okay. Okay, that's another one of those. Send over here and park it. Uh, what to build here now? More musket men, of course. 
musket men are nice. They don't have any particular uh, uh, requirements from a, uh, a resource standpoint. So I'm going to build museums here now too. Should build a few archaeologists as well. Just to uh, go and uh, clear out those uh, antiquity sites. Okay. So that's that. Well, now I'll uh, come down over here. Uh, right. So of course I'm doing the uh, Civilization V equivalent of uh, a stack of doom, uh, otherwise known as unit spam. Um, basically the idea is you have so many units coming in to attack a city that uh, even if they manage to take out a bunch of your units on the way in, uh, you still have enough coming behind that you just basically win through attrition. Now, for that to work, you have to have enough, strong enough units. Um, okay. Yeah, so I'll improve that, the uh, tundra up there. Uh, right. The desert there. So as you can see, when you get good production going, you can have a massive number of units uh, come out in a real hurry. Um, no, I've got a whole bunch of those. I'm going to build some uh, mounted units here as well. They're good for mopping up the... Uh, uh, other units because they move faster. So I'll build a bunch of knights. I have the horses to do it, so I might as well. Oh, city states count now. Um. What? Where? Who? Well, I'm not going to get the host, so... But I'm going to vote for me. I wonder what happens when they're... When... Uh, Polynesia, Sweden, Celts, Arabia. Just for kicks, I'm going to vote for Arabia. Um, odds are Poland's going to win it, but anyway. Should be amusing. Now, that was a lighthouse. Uh, harbor next. Okay, so the idea for my attack strategy is to march in with the uh, musket men in the lead. And then uh, some trebuchets or cannons in behind. I was right, Poland state be retained the leadership position.
Okay, so I've done that. Okay, so I can improve those. Okay. Oh, I've got an ideology. Nice. Uh, okay, more knights. I should just make a... Uh, Now, add more. And then I'll build some my archaeologists, but first of all, uh, do I have any one? No, no wonders. Okay. Okay, so I have built, okay, I'll build a museum there. Now, I'm going to be the first to get an ideology. Autocracy can be nice, um, but I'm going to go with freedom. So I'll, I'll, I'll go and look here. Level 1 tenets. Great people are faster. Extra culture from great works. Uh, specialists eat less food. Happiness from mint bank stock exchange. Gold from trade routes. Local happiness from every national wonder. That's all of those. Well, I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to go with uh, faster great people generation. Now, there are some nice level two tenets in there. Um, I think I can't remember what all of them are, and you can't actually see them easily there. Anyway. So that, I was the first one to get the ideology, so I got two free tenets. Uh, the next person to select it gets one, and then after that there's no free ones. Ooh, a great engineer. Ah, right. So I'll go park that one over here. So I've got three great engineers stored up. That'll be good when uh, some good wonders come along, uh, like the great firewall. Okay. Okay, that's still...
Right. Send another knight over. Oh, that's going to get a uh, camp. That's a uh, uh, deer. Okay. Oop, my golden age has ended. Now, I don't think even with the mod I have for improving weak terrain that it's going to uh, let me do anything on the uh, snow there. Okay. Need to reestablish my trade route. Uh, so I built a library there. Yeah, water mill would be good. Uh, eh? Oh. Right. Okay, that's a mine there. So I have another um, knight coming online there. So I should be well up on the uh, pointiest sticks ranking now. Uh, I'm going to park some uh, defense there. Okay, so this gives me plus one production. This gives me plus two. Oh, that's a factory there. Uh, I'll put up a museum. Museums are cultural buildings, after all. Right now, I'm basically saving faith up. Uh, caravan, right. Uh, you know what? I'll build the archaeologist there. Take the archaeologist out of there. Okay. So by the time those knights are done, I'll be able to build cannons there, which I'll do. And I'll use those for the invasion. So I'm pretty much decided I'm going to invade the Huns. They're just getting on my nerves. Okay, that's a factory there. Huh. Oh, well, a seaport would be a good idea. Poland's plotting against Attila. Well, that might be good. If uh, Poland comes and offers an uh, alliance against Attila, I might actually take it. The Louvre. Cargo ship again. Uh, that's a university, right? 
Uh, build a market there now. So since I uh, I recorded the previous part, uh, there's been announcements of, or at least I've read announcements of Civilization VI coming down the in the fall, uh, which should be uh, interesting. Okay, I've got chemistry, uh, scientific uh, theory, uh, rifling I think is probably what I want next. Yeah, go with rifling. Okay. I'm clearly going to need to get my uh, uh, gold production up. Right. Uh, I'll build a museum there. just so it's there then I'll build some cannons I'm also gonna have to do something about happiness here right My empire is uh, just about to the point where unhappiness is going to set in. Uh, let's see. Let's see if the Huns complain about massing on their border. Okay, so I should be able to get the uh, cannons I want to build out. But uh, why is the gold going up? Okay, there's a archaeologist. I'll set it to set him to work there. Uh right. Um uh, oh, that was an archaeologist. So, I had four antiquity sites. So, I'll get four archaeologists out now. No, I don't want to go against him. Attila is making a sneak attack on somebody.
Well, I don't see his troops, so it's probably not me. Okay, that's pretty much it up there. Yeah. Oh. I have a stone quarry there that I can build. I should do that. Uh, right. Okay, now I'll uh, set up building my cannons for the assault. I can build uh, trading posts on the uh, snow or forts. Well, I'll put up trading posts then. Well, at least it's uh, a productive uh, uh, endeavor. Uh, right, I was building, where is it? Cannons. Uh, add to Q. Two. Three, four, five. Okay. So I'm going to build six cannons, and that's going to be my invasion force. I'm not going to need all six of them, but uh, I'm building that many so that I have them if they get clobbered. Because uh, there's a good chance on the initial run up, they'll get clobbered before they can fire at the uh, city. Uh, okay, I'll make that a quarry. That's tundra, so that'll be uh, improvable as well. Not sure what good building the trading posts all over here will do, but it certainly makes the tiles more productive than they would be otherwise, even if they're a losing proposition food-wise. Okay, that was a harbor. And now, a seaport. And that is a water mill. Now, uh, obviously I need to build some happiness buildings here so that I don't uh, get uh, too far uh, the wrong side there. Then I'm going to obviously have to start building things like uh, markets and so on over there as well. And it might be worth taking that uh, markets, mints, and so on uh, happiness uh, tenant as well. Okay. So I'll send the cannon over there. And I've built a harbor there, now a seaport. Finish the museum there. Uh, yeah, windmill's a good idea.
Okay, there's another archaeologist. And uh, where is that? Okay, I've got an antiquity site there. Two more archaeologists. Oh, there's some antiquity sites over here, too. Uh, finished a market there. Definitely need to do the uh, happiness buildings. Uh, right, that's a cannon. Ooh, I have a policy. Ah, what was I uh, looking at here? Uh, aesthetics gets me culture faster. And all of that doubles the theming bonus, right? Right. Rationalism gets science faster. Uh, right, aesthetics or commerce or a tenant. Hmm. What are the level two tenants? Uh, specialists, half the normal unhappiness, golden ages are longer. Okay. Wait a minute. Well, that, I think, is a good one to pick. Yeah. Since there's not uh, much else to uh, go on about here, you know, I'm going to talk about uh, a uh, thing that annoys me. Uh, I see people talking about tenets all the time. Uh, you know, and whatever tenets of a religion and so on. But most of the time when I see it written, people are writing tenets, not tenets. And uh, that's a very different thing. So... Uh, right, so I'll uh, bring that new canon over. So I'm always hearing about tenets of a particular uh, religion or something, but the actual thing is tenets. There's there's only one N in tenet. Another great engineer. Okay. I'm collecting great engineers now. Oh, I can choose archaeology. Um, Byzantine or a landmark? Uh, yeah, I'll create a Byzantine uh, item. Right. 
Okay, so all these units I have kicking about the map are uh, sucking up gold. Uh, which is fine. Uh, the archaeologists are sucking up gold. So I may need to uh, open up the uh, the, the uh, gold generating uh, policies. Uh, right. That's grassland forest. Well, I'm going to put uh, lumber mills there because uh, Varna here doesn't have as much production in its radius as uh, would be ideal. I think with the third cannon I can possibly launch the invasion, uh, but I'll uh, save that launching that for the next part. Uh, I'm not going to do it in this part. So I need to be slightly careful about doing that so that I don't end up uh, overreaching. Okay, these are in range of this city, so they're worth uh, improving. Okay, so this is good. Okay, windmill's good. Then I'll build the museum. Um, right, so that's a windmill. I'm going to attack. I might as well max out my defensive uh, uh, you know, uh, capabilities there. Right, so that's uh, another one. a museum so I obviously need to start building banks so I'll do that I get banks up everywhere if my gold starts getting too low I can uh, fix that uh, briefly by uh, sending out a great merchant which uh, I can definitely acquire reasonably quickly um, so there's one more antiquity site. Uh, so one more archaeologist. So I should be getting the uh, choose archaeology thing again soon. that one it was over here uh, four turns for that okay so I'll uh, let that uh, finish uh, before I end this part I'm coming up on an hour so it's getting on for time rifling okay so riflemen uh, okay, 
And I'll do the military science. You know what? Uh, I don't think I, I don't have the great merchant one, so uh, I'd have to complete. Oh, there's a tenet for that. I can't remember which uh, ideology it's in. So once I invade, I'm going to end up uh, losing a few of these units. That'll help my gold situation. Um, right, what have we done here? That's a windmill. Okay, I'll build the uh, arsenal there. Oh, there's the archaeology one. And it's a Byzantine artifact okay let's see what we've got here ancient era ancient era we'll take the theming bonus it's uh, definitely worth it uh, good that's nice we got uh, something with a theming bonus Okay, that's that. Uh, right, I can send that worker over there. Uh, what's this say? Oh, right. Um, good. Well, I'm going to call that the end of this part here. So uh, if you've watched this far, you know, I hope it's been interesting. And I'll see everybody back for part 10, I believe it will be.